Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring vanilla. Now the origin myth of vanilla is really quite interesting. It's a bit of a Romeo and Juliet story. It is said that when God still roamed on the earth with men, the daughter of a powerful fertility goddess named Zanet fell in love with a mortal totanic man. Now this love was forbidden and basically their relationship came to an end with their death. But the fusion of this couple formed the beautiful vanilla orchid, which would mean that their love and their pleasure would be shared with humanity forevermore. So the vanilla is actually comes from a bean of one particular orchid. Now there are thousands and thousands of orchids all around the world, but only this single species provides us with this precious vanilla bean. Now when the Spanish conquered the Aztecs and started to take the vanilla orchid around the world, they found that they had really big issues. They actually couldn't get the flower to pollinate and thus to grow the bean and they couldn't work it out. Eventually it was discovered that there is a unique bee that lives in that Central and South American area where the vanilla bean is actually, or the vanilla orchid is actually native to, and that must pollinate the flower and thus you get the vanilla bean where we get this amazing absolute. Now, what has been found that in certain places around the world, you can hand pollinate it. And so in places such as Madagascar, this is done. However, you only get one morning a year to do it. When that flower opens, otherwise you don't get that bean. Now, when it comes to extracting vanilla, it's very different to many other essential oils. For most other essential oils, it is used, uh, we extract it through steam distillation, basically putting the plant material in like a big kettle, the steam comes through and it removes the essential oil out of the content. Now that doesn't happen with vanilla and normally you need to use either carbon dioxide, which is a really clean way of extracting vanilla, or uh, some other chemical process to extract that beautiful essence out of the bean. And this is why you'll hear vanilla. There's actually no vanilla essential oil. It's actually referred to as a vanilla absolute. And it's kind of a lot more stickier and a bit more solid and a bit harder to use. But of course you get that beautiful, luscious vanilla scent that we love and has become one of the most popular flavorings around the world. Now, because of such the difficulty that is for, from getting this vanilla and that it, you know we need that pollination to happen on that one morning, of the year, what you'll find is about only 1% of what is sold as vanilla on the world actually comes from the vanilla orchid or the vanilla plant. You'll actually find around 75% of what is sold on the market as vanilla is actually either includes or comes from petrochemicals. That's like petrol. And so you wouldn't want to be using that in your body or in your home at all. So make sure when you're looking for a vanilla absolute that you are getting something that is that pure essence that is extracted from that beautiful, unique vanilla orchid. In this video, we're going to explore how, when you've got your pure vanilla, how you can work with it to benefit your body, your mind, and we're going to dive in spiritually and look how it can benefit the spirit as well. Vanilla has a really amazing, relaxing impact on the body. And so it's going to be really great for anything to do with nervousness or anxiousness or just when we're feeling overwrought. Now here, as we get to hopefully to the end of the pandemic, I think vanilla is a pure gift to get out into the world and help us just kind of ease through and work through these challenges that we're going through. It can be really great if you're feeling a bit nauseous. And sometimes we feel that nausea when we're feeling uneasy about life or out of control in life. And that can be really beneficial in that way. If we're feeling a little bit queasy. If you're finding trouble sleeping at night because you're kind of racked with fear or worry or concern or something like that, diffusing a bit of vanilla can really help you get a good night's sleep. If you just find, and I find, you know, if you've been in a kind of a stressful period for a prolonged period of time, you have these unexplained sore limbs or just things that are achy, try massaging a bit of vanilla with a carrier oil into that area. It can also be really great. I've, I know women that will massage it over their abdomen. If they're having any menstrual issues that can be really great as well as well as it can be beneficial for the skin so adding a single drop and mixing that in with your nighttime moisturizer can be really really beneficial so this is one when you're feeling that your nervous system or any part of your system is overworked and and uptight and needs help to lean back into that love and that pleasure that we really associate with the myth of vanilla and the aroma of vanilla then reach for your vanilla pop it in you know either in, in have a nice bath with it 
pop it in the diffuser, mix it with your nighttime moisturizer, or if you are getting that pure vanilla and you can trust the source that it's coming from, then there's no reason why you couldn't put one or two drops in a, your favorite warm drink or even some cooking, a dessert or some baking and enjoy the benefits of it that way as well. As I said before, vanilla is ideal for anything that is stress related or stress induced and you just have this un inability to relax. If you feel that you're constantly uptight, then it's time to start working with vanilla. Vanilla is really great for anxiety, it's really great for nervousness and what it allows us to do is to move from those kind of really wrung out, wrought out states into a kind of state where we're enjoying our life a bit more. As we dive in and start to work with uh, vanilla on a more emotional healing or a deeper level and a healing level, it's really great for allowing us to enjoy the pleasures of life a bit more. You know, it really, it's interesting how when it comes to rewards or pleasure in life, we feel that we have to earn them. Oh, I've done a good job this week, so now I'm going to give myself a treat. Or I work so hard, when I finish working so hard, then I deserve a reward. But if we were planted on this earth by, you know, the Creator, with this smorgasbord of delights and pleasures, they're gifts. And if we're not using and utilizing these gifts and enjoying these gifts, then they're disrespectful to the Creator. So if you find that you're just not enjoying life, lean into vanilla and allow that to help you work through possibly why you can't enjoy life a little bit more. As you start to work with vanilla on a regular basis, you'll find that it opens you up to loving connections, forming more fulfilling relationships with people, and also it can really help with open communication as well. So either inhaling it or diffusing it or placing it near the throat chakra where we're breathing it in can really just help you to relax, enjoy being around other people, open up to other people and be honest. And when we're honest and authentic, allowing ourselves to be vulnerable and open, it allows us to form deeper relationships as one soul can see into another soul's heart and feelings in that way. Metaphysically, vanilla really helps to draw the pleasures of life into our existence. Try dabbing a little bit behind your ears and even over your heart or your sacral chakra to attract romance, abundance, good fortune, a bit of luck, or just even a bit of peacefulness into your life. Vanilla, of course, the origin story is all about love. And if you're looking to attract new love into your life, then try creating this little charm. Get yourself a little bit of red fabric. And on that red fabric, put the symbol of the planet Venus. Of course, Venus governs love. Then fill that charm with a little bit of sugar. You can put some love crystals in there, maybe some rose quartz or some rhodonite or, or rhodochrosite, tugdopite, pink tourmaline, any of your favorite love crystals. And with that sugar in those crystals, then a drop of vanilla absolute. Tie that all up with a beautiful ribbon and carry that with you. And that energy will help to draw, you know, love and abundance and romance into your life. Now, keeping with that essence of sugar and that delight of sugar, try mixing some pure vanilla in with some sugar and using that to flavor your foods or when you're cooking. And again, that can help to attract love and pleasure into your life. This is a really great one to use at night, either diffusing it, adding it to your nighttime moisturizer or rubbing it on the soles of your feet. And it's renowned for helping to bring prophetic and even erotic dreams. Now talking about eroticism, a lot of the time we can use either sexual energy or just our general energy to raise energy before we send that intention out into the universe. So, you know, if you think about when we meditate, when we're doing creative visualization, we take some energy and we kind of send it out. But if you can raise more energy and send more energy out, then the stronger your request to the universe. So sometimes this is done through partners being you know, sexual. We can do it by being sexual ourselves through self-pleasure or just by kind of breath work or anything that kind of raises that sexual energy or that high energy or that kind of tantric energy. And inhaling vanilla is renowned for actually helping to incorporate more of that energy in and raise more of that energy and then send that out to the universe. So give that a shot as well. This makes vanilla an absolute powerhouse. When you decide that you're sick of the life you're living and that you'd like to stop stressing, stop being wrought with anxiety and enjoy life again, reach for your vanilla. Emotionally, physically, and metaphysically or spiritually, it's designed to help settle down the stress and bring in what you desire and what you deserve in life.
So we've been talking about pleasure, we've been talking about intimacy and getting closer with people. Which energy center governs that? Well, of course, the sacral chakra. This is going to be the best energy center I find for working with vanilla. Of course, when we have a balanced sacral chakra, we feel comfortable opening up to people and opening up to the world. We feel comfortable forming intimate relationships and being honest with other people and embracing that intimacy, not just romantically or sexually, but just feeling closeness to another human being or another person in the world. Of course, the sacral chakra also governs creativity. The sacral chakra governs your reproductive system and your ability to create. It creates new life and it creates new energy in your life. So again, this is where vanilla is absolutely powerful for the sacral chakra. So if you find that you're having challenges with your sacral chakra, start bringing vanilla into your life. As I always say, as long as you can safely use your essential oil or your absolute, get it in you, on you, around you, and it's gonna have an impact on your energy and primarily on this energy center in the case of vanilla, your sacral chakra. Of course, vanilla is absolutely a divine aroma by itself, but hey, why not bring in the aromas of other essential oils and also the magic of other essential oils to see if you can heighten what you're trying to achieve in your life. So what are some of the great essential oils to mix with your vanilla absolute? Well, first of all, try the floral oils. Now remember the action of a flower is to open. So each of the flowers actually will allow us to open up to the opportunities, to the pleasure of the world and to love. You know, sometimes we close off from love like a flower, but when we do that to pres protect ourselves from hurt, we also don't experience that love as well. And the flowers help us to open up, show our true colors and be proud of who we are. Some of my favorite flowers to combine with vanilla, and this can be really great for making your own natural fragrance or perfume, are flowers such as rose, jasmine, neroli, magnolia, ylang-ylang, and osmanthus. Try mixing those together, and remember that perfumes and colognes often upset our um, hormones and disrupt them and can be endocrine disruptors, whereas when you're using floral essential oils, they can actually help to support our endocrine system and our hormones. So this can be a really nice combination. But I also find mixing with woody or other aphrodisiac oils can be really nice as well. One of my favorites is sandwood. Now sandwood can actually be used magically and physically for men to attract women into their lives or to attract a partner into their life. It can Men, men wanting to attract men, that can work as well. Um, so mixing it with sandwood can be really nice. It's really great with um, frankincense. Um, a colleague of mine finds vanilla, jasmine and sandwood is a really nice trio. We can also bring that joyousness that we want to bring into our lives. And why not use other sacral chakra fruits? So here we're looking at things such as wild orange, bitter orange, um, clementine, kumquat, tangerine, grapefruit. Any of those orange fruit work really well with the sacral chakra as well. Or other aphrodisiac oils, you know, cassia and cinnamon bark also are aphrodisiacs and have that warming energy and work really well with the sacral chakra. Or you may also want something like patchouli or cinnamon bark. So there are so many different combinations of what we could mix with our vanilla absolute. Have you got a favorite blend? I'd love to hear about it. I'm sure many of our other um, watchers would love to see it as well. Please leave a comment in the section below so we can all try different blends and create some real magic in our lives. As you may have seen by now, if you've watched many of my videos, I love working with all the different gifts and wisdom of Mother Nature. So when we're working with these precious gifts from the plant kingdom, such as essential oils and absolutes like vanilla absolute, we can also bring in other gifts as well. My favorite gift from the mineral kingdom that I love working with when I'm working with vanilla is orange tourmaline. Now, orange tourmaline, tourmaline comes in every color of the rainbow. It's said that the gods placed tourmaline through a rainbow before they buried it in the earth. And so you get all this wide variety of colors. Orange can be a little bit trickier to get, but it is definitely worth it. Just like it's a rare orchid that gives us vanilla, it's a rare crystal that has a really nice energy for working with vanilla. Now, as you'll see in this crystal, there's lines, and this is how um, tourmalines grow, kind of in these shards of lines, and they kind of ebb and flow energy backwards and forwards, which is really quite balancing. Of course, orange is the color of our sacral chakra. It's about creativity, it's about pleasure, it's about intimacy, all those things that we associate vanilla with and we use vanilla for. Orange is also a really kind of energetic um, kind of color as well. And so this is a really nice combination of helping to raise energy and bring that pleasure into our lives. Now, when it comes to animal guides, 
Animal guides can come in all different shapes and sizes, and one that keeps popping into my mind whenever I think of vanilla or whenever I'm working with it or meditating with it, the ladybug or the ladybird. You know, she is, when she appears on our life, when she lands on our skin, it is said to say that luck is coming our way. And when we start working with vanilla, it kind of gives us that um, faith in the universe that miracles can happen. And Ladybird reminds us that good things can happen, miracles can happen, and to stay in that vibration. So she's a reminder of keeping that upbeat vibration, just as vanilla is. Now remember, when it comes to getting your vanilla absolute, as I said at the start of this video, a lot of it is not actually gifted to us from the vanilla orchid, and it's artificially made out of petrochemicals and other things in laboratory. When we're working with the plant kingdom, we want to make sure that what you're using is actually from the plant kingdom. I also mentioned before that to get this um, beautiful, to get the vanilla bean to grow out of the vanilla orchid plant, it must be pollinated in the morning, and you only get one morning a year. This can mean that sometimes those that are sourcing vanilla, it's done rather unethically in poor countries. So you really want to go into the backstory and find out who is responsible and who is benefiting and are the people that are doing this very precious um, pollination work, are they getting you know, looked after and are they getting paid well and that type of thing as well. We don't want to have a gift from nature if we know that other people and other, you know, other humans on this planet are suffering just so we can have a little bit of pleasure. If you'd like to know where to get some pure, ethically sourced vanilla, then please reach out to me and I'm more than happy to help you out with that. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I've really fallen in love with Vanilla Absolute and I'd love to know about your experience as well in the comments section. Thank you for just hanging out with me and letting me wax lyrical about one of the most pleasurable aromas in the world that has become one of the most amazing flavorings in the world. I'm Adam Barrelow. Blessed be.